This clip was made for the Knowledge and Change dialogue. We have asked Metropolis correspondents from Nicaragua and Kenya to capture their sentiments about knowledge and change. Information and knowledge is not neutral. We have to think about who owns it and what the politics are behind it. How does the man on the street deal with it? In Nicaragua, we dive into government propaganda. And in Kenya, we look at how people are given a voice by crowdsourcing information. Este lugar es conocido como la entrada principal hacia Managua, la capital del país. Aquí están todos los comercios y se supone que todo el que quiere vender algo debería anunciarse en esta zona. Parece que el gobierno está muy claro de que eso podría funcionar. Hay cifras extraoficiales que indican que el gobierno invierte un millón de dólares al año en publicidad. Eso en un país que tiene una deuda externa de 3.500 millones de dólares y es el segundo más pobre de América Latina. Menos mal que el dinero no fue malgastado, porque los rótulos llaman mucho la atención. Todos son rosados. Aparte de su color llamativo, los rótulos son de poca humildad. En todos aparece el presidente Daniel Ortega y algunos hasta parecen ser cargados por Jesucristo. Los mensajes son bastante claros. Hay unos que dicen que el mismo pueblo es el presidente. Pueblo presidente, poder ciudadano, Nicaragua, cristiana, socialista, solidaridad. Dice, vos ganás. ¿Vos sentís que ha ganado algo? No. ¿Vos sentís que sos presidente? No. ¿Y vos te sentís como presidente con esos rótulos? No, yo me siento como soy, ma. ¿Cómo supo? Pobre, honrado, trabajador, ma. ¿Y el presidente no es honrado, acaso? Ah, ¿cómo no? Dice él que es honrado, ma. Dice, arriba los pobres del mundo. Los pobres están arriba. ¿Arriba de dónde? Los pobres siempre están abajo. ¿Y por qué la propaganda aquí dice que están arriba? Bueno, es una propaganda. Es solo propaganda. Yo digo de que es una política, pero los pobres siempre van a ser pobres. ¿A dónde está el poder del pueblo? No existe, está el poder, es la pura mentira. Do people actually have power? ICT can give people a voice. Ujiguzi is a Kenyan initiative that seeks to change the dynamics of information by giving people the power. Ujiguzi is a platform that gives people the opportunity to report on election violations through mobile technology. In this way, we can keep an eye on fair and just elections. People become anxious when they do not have information. And that is, that is why we used the ICT. We said, if we can have a system where we can crowdsource, because we use two methodologies. One, uh, using the, uh, the monitors that we had trained, as a first one. And then secondly, using the crowd, getting information from the crowd. Anybody, because we put uh, the numbers, we advertise the number, the, the short code, that is 3018, across the country. On this map, you see the reports that people have sent in on the referendum day. Prior to the referendum, Ujaguzi held a media campaign explaining to people how they can report on election violation through texting. 1,500 people have reported violations, which is a large number considering that it was a pilot project. All the reports were verified in the Ujaguzi headquarters. Then each report was plotted on a map and can be read individually. whether within or without the police station, was reported in real time. The government was confronted with the results by Ujaguzi and the national media. This is just the beginning. The world is changing more and more into a knowledge society. This impacts the everyday life of people. But what is actually changing? 
And what do these changes mean? The overall question for the conference is the intersection between knowledge and change. What is knowledge and when can knowledge lead to change? 